Mr. Speaker, would we have heard from the side opposition here? In this debate, I'll be beginning with some rebuttals, and then I'll going to uh, further extend my case uh, arguments provided by my first speaker. But let me first uh, rebut the ridiculous arguments provided by the side opposition here in this debate. We do, as a side government, we don't see any. Uh, we don't see the point. Uh, we don't see anything wrong when government sell, uh, said, uh, when government tells that government is ready to pay women who are severe diseases. We realize that how important a, a baby's life is. If a go what, what the side opposition completely neglected the case. If a go if a woman has a severe diseases, let's say she has a cancer, or let's say she, uh, she has any severe disease and cannot go through the nine months of struggle, then we don't uh, we don't understand why is it problematic if government is ready to. Uh, give that technology to the women, accessible to the technology, and but even if the women want, because here in this motion, it is completely, it is explicitly uh, stated that uh, government to pay women who want to. So women will go to the government and tell if they want to have that technology and have a baby, then go, it, it is, as a government, we feel it is necessary to, to give the baby. So their argument is completely, uh, completely not uh, not specific here, and also they comes and tells that how surrogacy and how IBF, b b IBF, but uh, but they did not tell why that could be uh, that could that would make sense if they would tell that why ectogenesis will not be applicable in this context. They completely they just gave the alternative, but they did not tell why this uh, technology could, would be uh, upper hand with uh, like why this uh, surrogacy would be uh, more uh, preferable than ignorances. They just completely stated that claim that, but did not give any clarification. But but and as a side government, we completely neglect that and we do not keep that we do not acknowledge that and now again see, now again the first prime minister comes and uh, compares uh, compares the right to life with contribution to tax I, I don't think uh, we, we can ever contribute to you see, now comes and tells that the life of a person and the contribution to tax and see now compares it I don't see what grounds even uh, compares these two uh, things so no sir uh, and we also realize that the tax, the contribution of tax is not the fault of a person, but then it is the fault of a government of an ineffective body to realize the tax, and that is completely another department that should not be even discussed in this debate. So I would, uh, I would move to my uh, another rebuttals. No, I, no I, will, I would like to, and see all, again the first, prior, first speaker comes and tells that how it is an exploitation of free service in personal benefit and how, we, how a person can make a fake documents of what, wanting to have a baby but we don't realize, we don't see how if a woman wants to have a baby and why, why would she even make a fake document if she wants to have a baby here, yeah, we don't even, we, we keep that argument even valid here in this debate and I don't see how the prime minister comes and tells that it, they will make a fake document to have a baby, it is clear that she wants to have a baby and why would she even make a fake document to have a baby here? We don't even we don't even realize that. No sir, please reject it. After I think I have like quite much in three minutes I have wished to rebut the ridiculous argument, but that is a necessity that I have to do in this debate. So so now I would like to put now I'd like to go forward to the arguments and the case and extend further extend my by my first speaker here. My first speaker explicitly told in his policy those women who, are, who have a severe disease and as a government we cannot neglect, we cannot only see, uh, we, can only, we cannot only see if a woman is, uh, women can only have a baby, we want to address each and everyone's problem, how we talked about feminine because a woman, as a woman, no, no ma'am reject her, please sit down, as a woman, uh, as a woman, they, they, they want to have a baby, right, and only because they have a disease and only they cannot, uh, only they cannot pay does not mean government, uh, does not, as a government we should also acknowledge each and every woman's problem. So. Uh, now here the argument of economic disparity comes in, comes in force. No, ma'am, please sit down. What? Why? Uh, in this debate, it is really important to know why government uh, government has to pay. We know there are economic disparity in the society. If we don't, what happens when government does not pay in this context? A person who, ha or, 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 let's say, a family who, who who are richer can afford this, but a woman who, who comes from a really poor, poor background cannot pay this. So oh, what happens? Sense. No, ma'am. What happens when government pays this? The, the economic disparity does not come in force. So uh, this is why the government uh, government feels that the, it is necessary to pay. It's necessary to pay as a government in this very crucial uh, crucial matter. So th this is our argument of economic, economic disparity and what happens if government does not pay. This is the uh, this is the uh, this is the scenario what government this side the government would like to keep forward. 
And also, uh, let us like uh, let us now realize that why is uh, sorry exogenous is uh, even was even established. Why this technology was established? What were the primary objective of establishing this uh, technology? Why I think we should realize that. Why? Because because the the the, the uh, researchers realize that uh, the researchers realize that there are people, there are women who want to have a baby, but just because they are infertile or just because they don't they have a severe disease, that they couldn't do that. So as a government, how can they even neglect? that so because this was the urgency created so as a government we feel that this this should be uh, this should be this technology because of the objective of her technology this should the, this was important so and also and they also the side government also talk, side opposition also talked about how uh, to, to see this motion through the perspective of a child Child is getting a life here, for the God's sake. He, he's getting a he's getting a life here. Why would even child come and tell her why have you given this life? <laughs> that would be even valid because if God if child would go through a severe diseases, but the, in this motion we don't see we don't we don't realize that child would go through any ordinary abnormality if, if opposition if opposition comes and tells that the child would be an abnormal, but that would not be acknowledged because that is that, 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 that I think that the technology has not uh, does not have the disadvantage of child being abnormal even if the opposition comes and tells me. That's why I, I don't think even if a child is getting a life, I don't see why would child be complaining about getting a life. So their the, their argument is completely invalid, even in this perspective. Even like let's, let us agree in their point. So whatever argument, whatever policy, whatever the alternative, the surrogacy have they've given, they have failed to tell that why ignorances uh, should uh, should not be chosen. That surrogacy would be chosen. They failed to tell that yeah, the arguments are completely ridiculous in this context because our policy stands out, because our uh, because our argument stands out. I think we are proud to propose and we should win this debate. Thank you. Thank you.